Hey, it's new parts day. I've got a new part here. This is apparently been released not long ago. Um, it's it's a new, not just a new part to me, but it's a new part in general. Uh, and I saw, I think it was Mike's Electric Stuff uh, linked this on the um, EEV blog forums. I saw that and went, oh, I've got a use for that. And I'm going to use it in a uh, future video uh, coming up soon. I've got PCBs coming from uh, JLC PCB for the uh, the project this is going to go in. But um, yeah, I thought, hey, we'll have a bit of a look at this thing because it is pretty cool. It's uh, made by Recom. You can see there on the front. And it's a uh, RAC05 05 SK slash C14. The C14 probably gives a clue, um, as does the uh, <laughs> the video description. But um, yeah, it, I got this from DigiKey. I, I purchased that and it just turned up today. So the DigiKey part number is 945 dash 3392 dash ND. It's a uh, 5 watt AC DC converter, power line 3. What it actually is, if I pull it out of the box, with a documentation. It's actually an IEC connector, a C14, the standard sort of thing you see on the back of your computer or whatever. And um, it's a power supply. It's not just a, um, a connector or it's not just a, um, a line filter, but it's actually a 5 volt power supply. So these terminals here don't output the uh, line voltage. That's 5 volts at 1 amp. So it's a fully self-contained power supply. There it is there. This is on there. Primary 100 to 240 volts, so it's universal voltage, 50, 60 hertz, universal um, uh, frequency, and the secondary is 5 volts at 1 amp. So it can uh, greatly simplify design of products because um, rather than having to spin up a, um, a power supply or even um, have a separate power supply somewhere, it's all self contained. Just plonk that into your product and you've got the 5 volts there. It uses the standard connectors. Uh, as you'd see on a normal one of these that isn't a power supply version. So you've got to be careful that when you're replacing one of these, if you ever find one in a product, be doubly sure that you've uh, um, had a look at the uh, labels so you don't go and put a 240 volt version in or like a, a straight through version that doesn't have the power supply because you will pump your mains voltage into the uh, circuit and that would be um, unfortunate and uh, yeah, it won't fare too well. But yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to open this up. Oh, maybe. It's got a bit of a solder blob there onto the earth. Maybe we'll unsolder that and see if it comes off. I'm not going to destroy this because I'm going to use it. This cost me about, I think it was about 15 bucks or something. Um, it wasn't the cheapest thing, but uh, compared to the cost of installing a, a power supply into the board, um, no, getting all the components together and stuff, or you know, something like that, it, it's not that bad, and it's only a one-off project anyway, so it's all good. So we've got the data here. There are a few different versions. Um, I will, rather than trying to read this off the uh, the camera, I'll put something on the screen now from the, uh, the PDF data sheet. But it looks like we've got uh, five different models. Uh, we've got a 3.3, a 5, a 12, a 15 and a 24 volt version and each one has a different current rating so the 3.3 uh, volt is at uh, 1.5 amps this one which is a 5 volt is at 1 amp um, just under half an amp for the 12 volt 15 is 300 milliamps and 200 milliamps for the 24 volt and it's got all the ratings for the uh, efficiencies and um, yeah, like board or the panel cutouts and the size of the unit and we've also got this thing here. What's this? Oops. Don't tear it. Ah, uh, this is all the warning stuff, which I'm just tearing apart. Warning information and stuff. Where's English? Important information de security. In important safety information. Da 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 da. Just usual stuff. Don't eat it. Don't put it in water, don't open the thing and stuff. So we'll go ahead and open it because it t tells us not to. Well, I'll, I'll try to. I'll see what happens. Alright, that just slid off and we got a bit of wrap on there. And, uh-oh. Looks like this is as deep as we can go. Because it's potted. It's all got the uh, epoxy stuff or the uh, celastic or whatever injected in there somewhere. There's no way I'm going to open that non-destructively. 
or is there? Mm. I think that's it. I think that's as far as I can go. Because I do actually want to use this thing. So at least that shows us, if not the uh, circuit, then the, um, the fact that it is well made. I'm not going to be able to open that thing up at all. Well, I could open it up, but I will never be able to use it because I will destroy the thing. So, that's as far as we can tear this one down. But, what I'll do, I'll hook it up to the scope and we'll see what it, what sort of output waveform it puts out, both offload and uh, onload. I'll load up to one amp to its full power and um, we'll see how much ripple this thing kicks out, see how smooth that is and um, see if it's uh, reasonable or not. Okay, so I've got the scope hooked up and the, uh, the key sight, the, uh, the benchtop multimeter. So we'll see what the actual voltage is and if there's any noise or whatever. So if I plug that in, we're getting 5.0235 volts. So that's pretty good. That's 5.0 volts. That's, that's perfect. And uh, you can see on the scope, there's no major noise there. There's nothing there at all. Okay, so we've got it under load now. Just got this little USB resistive thing here. I use the resistive ones when I've got the scope hooked up because if you use one with a transistor that switches on and off, it can introduce noise and that, and you can pick that up with your scope rather than seeing exactly what the uh, power supply is, um, is producing. Whereas with the resistor, you get no interference and you get just the waveform from the power supply. So we've got that there. That's set up. I've measured that at 0.9 amp. So it's just under the, um, the rated output. And uh, you can see the waveform there. There's a a few little blips, which is standard of a uh, switch mode power supply. A little bit of ripple, but it's not too bad. I'm going to definitely put a um, some capacitors on the output of this thing before it goes into the rest of my circuit, just to smooth that off a bit more and um, you know, best practice sort of thing. But the voltage is still at 5.02 um, volts, so the regulation is really good. A uh, little bit of ripple there, but that's standard for a, um, a uh, switch mode power supply. Um, if I switch it up to... Um, the next setting, which is 1.6 amp, I believe. I'll just uh, hook that up. Bear with me. Yeah, so right now we're at 0.9 amp, and if I switch that up, now it's kicking out 1.6 amp. And uh, you can see there, there's less ripple, but there's a lot more of those little spikes. So it's uh, working a lot harder. This is rated to 1 amp. And the fact that we can actually get 1.6 amp out of it, uh, at least short term, it isn't over over temperature chipping or it isn't over um, over current chipping at the moment. So yeah, there's a bit of overhead built into this thing it seems, and uh, yeah, it, it can it can handle with startup loads and that sort of stuff. And um, it's still still running okay at 1.6 amp. So I wouldn't run it long term on that, but at least you know you have got the overhead. So like if you've got it hooked up to a Raspberry Pi, they actually say that the Raspberry Pi is a use case for this sort of thing. Uh, when it's booting, it tends to use a bit more power than when it's just sitting there doing its thing normally. So at least you can um, this can handle that that boot up current. All right, so that looks like a um, relatively decent product. I'll definitely be using that in a uh, future project. So stick around and you'll see that in a uh, in a future video. So um, just a quick test on the uh, Recom power supply, safety extra low voltage, Selv. Give that a thumbs up. Don't forget to keep watching the videos. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you feel like it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.